Hello everybody. How are you? Peaceful transition of power. That's one of the legacies President Museveni wants to leave behind in Uganda. Museveni wants to leave a peaceful transition of power. He wants that to be one of his legacies in Uganda. You know, Uganda has never had a peaceful transition of power. All presidents have come and they have gone by military coups or by guerrilla war. But Museveni's pressing legacy wants to leave behind. One of the legacies he wants to leave behind is a peaceful transition of power. But is Museveni going to achieve this? Yes, I'm going to explain to you. You know, what Museveni said, it's not a mere change of leaders, but an ideology. So President Museveni, I think finally, has found somebody or a team that believes in his ideology. Because Museveni really trusts his ideology. He just doesn't want a change of God, change of leaders, but there's no change. Like many African countries, for example, Ghana, they have changed leaders, but there's basically nothing changes. Many other countries like Senegal, I can, I can name many countries, they have changed leaders many times, but nothing much has changed. Do you remember in February? Do you remember February when Museveni changed the, UP, changed the UPDF structure? You know, after four weeks, Moz came in as a CDF. If you remember that, Seven changed, changed the UPDF top structure. And after four weeks, Moz comes in as the new, as the new CDF. And I'm going to explain a little when you see this team here. You see this team here? Jessica Alupo is one of the, is one of the people people are not talking about. People are not talking about Jessica Alupo. But that's one of the people that is most probably likely, most most probably she's going to replace Museveni. You know, because Museveni is not gonna just leave power. Museveni is going to be there until he's not capable of leading. Until he's very tired or his God calls him. But Jessica Lupo is going to be a vice president until Museveni says, I'm done. You see? But remember Jessica Jessica Alupo, you know, she's a retired major. She is the only vice president vice president of all seven vice presidents that has a lot of respect in the military circles of the UPDF. You know, her husband is a major and she also she also has a lot of support in the military respect. You know, and seven's ideology that he believes in, he thinks the military person has to carry it. There's no way Seven is going to leave. There's no way Seven is going to leave Bobby Wine to become the president of the Republic of Uganda. No way. So let me explain to you a little about this. You see this team, the transition team that allies with Mawazi. There are very many people I can mention. You know, you know, General Kanga Mwanga Mwanga. That's Mawazi. is one of Mawazi's trusted generals. You know, Major General Mogesha. You know, Lieutenant Charlie Sukidi. That's that one has served as Museven's pilot for a long time. That's one of, one of Museven's most loved and beloved, most trusted generals. Charles Okidi, General Charles Okidi has been a pilot of Museven for a long, long time. You know, so Museven trusts him, you know, and this guy you may not know, also a lot of power is the, Charles Okidi is the commander of the Air Force. Then Kanomo Masiko, you don't underrate that guy, is the head of SFC right now. Lieutenant Charles Sotema, that's more Salim Sali's right hand man, and also Moazi's right hand man. So, a person who is the right hand man of Salim Sali and Moazi, you don't underestimate him. Then Lieutenant Charles, Lieutenant General Okiding. Okiding was also a right hand of Moseven. Now, I come back to Jessica Alupa again. You know, Many people are talking about a hey, transition of power, but none of them talks about this young man, this young lady. She's below 50 years old. She's 40 something. I'm telling you, if you look at this, this girl will surprise people. You look at this other team, there are many people I can mention, you know, Bironji, Major General Bironji. This in the middle is Ogingi, Benababu, you know, Kanja Mohanga. Those are all that structure Museven has laid is for a peaceful transition of power because Museveni wants that to be his legacy. Moaz didn't, didn't go to become a CDF to become a president. Moaz wanted to become a CDF so that a peaceful transition of power.
comes in. So you understand? If Moses is coming for presidency, he'll come in the in the 2030s when he's around 60 years old. Moses is not coming right now. I think now you understand. Moses' transition of power, how it works.